this is an overview of the author list widget for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, make sure you have unlimited elements for Elementor plugin installed on your WordPress website. Inside of unlimited elements plugin, jump into post widgets and on the author list widget, hover and click install. This will install the widget from the cloud. Now we can jump into our Elementor page and start editing it. In the widgets pane, I'm going to search for author list and I'm going to drag the widget inside of my column. What this widget does, it presents a list of authors from our WordPress website, meaning any user or subscriber or admin can be shown in the list. Over here on the left side, I'm going to take you over the settings and show you how you can use this widget. So the first setting is for custom query or manual selection. So these have two different types of settings. The manual selection one, you can just start typing in separate names and they will show one or the other. So this is like a manual selection where you can add users manually and they will show up. You can add as many as you want and then you can always delete them. And that's about it for this type of selection. The other one is custom query. What's nice about custom query is that we can select a full role. So it will show everyone in that role in our website because in WordPress, each user has a role. And right now, as you can see, it's showing only the administrators of the website. Over here, we can add different types of roles. So I'm just going to add subscribers. And now it's showing also the subscribers for the website. Let's delete those and leave only that administrators. We can also exclude a role. So in case we have more than one role, or let's say we're showing all the roles. So I'm just going to take off the selection over here. And now we're showing all the roles. And now I can just exclude the subscribers and it's showing everything else from the subscribers. Another thing we can do is exp exclude by specific user. So for example, if I don't want to show a specific user, I can just select it and he will get out of the list. Looks awesome. Over here, we can choose how many we want to show in the list. So for example, if I just want to show three, then I change this to three. And over here, we can see only three items looking good inside of order. We can change the order that these users show in. So for example, I can order them by a, maybe a username or user ID or something like that. Order direction. And over here, we can also add additional meta data keys inside of layout. Let's see what we have over here. So we can turn on or off the avatar. The avatar is the user image that's shown. These images are being brought in from Gravatar, which is also how WordPress works. So you're probably familiar with that. We can decide to show the name or not show the name. So we can just turn that off, toggle it on or off. Under that, we have the details part. The details part consists of a username, a role, an email, and a bio or description. So we can turn on or off any of these. It's important to know that the visual settings for typography and stuff like that is consistent for all of these. So just so you know that later on when we're editing the style, that all of these are part of something that's called details in the style tab. Over here, we can show the number of posts that are assigned to this user because each user has a different amount of posts. So right here we have a visual indication to show how many posts that user has. Of course, where you click anywhere on the user itself, it will take you to the archive page of that user and will show all the posts of that user. That's so we can just turn that on or off, which is awesome. Number of posts. So this is also related to here. If we want to add some text or something like that, for example, and I don't know, for example, I want to add a label. 
I can add a label and now we have a label before that we can uh, maybe wrap it up like this for example so you can play around with this to however you think is best inside of avatar it's actually pretty interesting we can turn on the custom avatar and now it's taking a custom image so we have a default image over here but you can upload your own image or icon or anything you want and it will show over here let's turn that back off and jump into style inside of the style tab it's separated into different parts the first part is for each item itself second part is for adding an alternating background for this list which is pretty cool avatar is to style the image name is to style the name part details is for everything down here and number of posts is for styling the number of posts let's go over each one of these so item background you can see the default background is so, sort of grayish you can do a gradient color you can add a background image if you want the regular background settings that elementor always has after the background we have an option to play around with the border so for example i'm just going to push this up a little bit and you can see that now we have a thicker border you can change the border color of course to any color that you want the style and everything else padding for each item so if i push up the padding just spacing that out a little bit more and item radius if you want to make your items rounded you can do that as well text alignment you can align your text center left whatever and we have an option for a horizontal list or a vertical list right now the list is vertical it means the items are one under the other we can make the items one next to each other but when using that uh, setting we're going to want to have less data inside you can see that on our demo page inside of our official website Alternating background. So to have an alternating background, what we need to do is to toggle this force button. And right now you can see that there's a darker gray and a lighter gray. Let's just make this uh, more prominent so you can see that. And that's how it works. It's pretty simple, pretty awesome. Have fun with it. Avatar, we can start playing around with our avatar so we can make the picture bigger we can space out between the picture and the data we can make our item or our image less rounded or more rounded the image can have a border as you can see over here and we can also align it so for example I can align the image to the middle everywhere in every data type you can align the stuff however you want so inside of name also we have typography let's play around with that a little bit so maybe what we're going to do now let's just jump back into content and turn off some stuff so let's turn off all of these and just maybe leave an image with some text let's make our section wider so to do that i'm just going to delete this over here and inside of style i'm going into the style of the author list and inside of the layout i'm going to change this to horizontal list and now you can see how that looks one next to each other of course the spacing is dependent on the margin so over here if i add more margin there's going to be more space between each item and item of course you can unlink this and give a different margin from each side and so for the details we took them off you can't see them now but and it's pretty clear typography and color settings same thing for number of posts i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and i'm going to see you in the next video